I've always liked this piece of water. You know, the fish could be in a lot of places. They're obviously not going to be out there in the fast water because steelhead are kind of lazy by nature. But they could rest anywhere from that transition water where it starts to slow down inside that fast water all the way to the bank here. In fact, there's a little trench right next to the bank. If you didn't know it was there, you'd miss it entirely. And that's why it's important when you come to a new piece of steelhead water is to make a pass concentrating on the inside, forgetting about that fast water, and present your fly using a type 3 sink tip. And you may or may not put weight on the fly. You'll find out when you make the first couple swings whether or not you can get your fly to come all the way across the run. Because often, particularly early in the morning and then late in the evening at last light, when the water's up in the willows like it is now, the steelhead will park themselves in eight inches of water. And if you just walk out there and rip off a bunch of line and jack your 90-foot cast into the heavy water, you've completely missed the resting steelhead that are right next to the bank. And those are the easiest ones to catch. So why not focus on those steelhead first? The first cast I'm going to make on this inside water are going to be short. I've got this tree to deal with, but. Then as soon as the fly hits the water, I immediately get the fly into a lead, which means I'm leading the line downstream. And the reason I do that is to make sure the fly comes all the way across the run. I want that fly to have momentum as it goes through that shallow water. And then one other little trick that I want to show you, how you can maximize the arc of your presentation, is that once the line is set and my swing begins and I start leading it down river and pointing the rod tip towards the bank, I actually kind of step back towards the bank. Look how much longer I can sustain that swing. I've only stepped in about 10 feet, but I'll bet the fly comes across there about 30 feet farther than it would if I had just stayed to the outside. So now I'm all the way against the bank here. The flies come all the way in. I have a type three head on. I'm not hung up. Just strip in a little bit of line, step straight out. Make another cast. I gotta go off the other shoulder now. Strip off a little bit of line. I'm gonna walk it down, lead the fly. Make sure that fly comes all the way across this soft water and point your rod tip to the bank to make sure it does. 